Peace off rock here, let's play GeoGuessr. It is Wednesday, it is time for a user submitted challenge and this one comes by way of Simi. This is uh, called Famous Architects Number 1, which means there are going to be hopefully a series of these Famous Architects. This one is a Frank Gehry challenge. Four minutes, you got it. Man, his designs are so interesting. This one's got to be brutal, like during sunrise and sunset, right? I mean, this, this sucker is like aluminum outsides. Okay, uh, it's the Museum Garage, University of Minnesota. Oh! Now, wait a minute. Yeah, hold on. I've been here. I don't remember that building, though. See, here's the thing, is that in Minnesota, at the University of Minnesota, you can go from building to building, and I'm not worried, like, trying to find it. I pretty much know exactly where this is, but uh, you can go from building to building without ever going outside unless you need to cross this bridge because it's the river, right? It's the Mississippi. So if you need to cross the bridge, there's like covered, this this top part is, there's a covered walkway. But the whole rest of the campus, you literally can stay underground. And I was mostly in the music wing because I was applying to be a musician. Uh, I don't know if it's a Guggenheim. It's part of the Minis University of Minnesota. We'll see when we zoom into it. But, but yeah, sunglasses are required for sure. University of Minnesota. Do, 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 um, crap, I don't remember which part of the river it is, which is embarrassing. I never ended up going. There it is. I did get accepted, but uh, let's see. there it is. It's the Frederick R. Weissman Art Museum. So like when I was uh, when I was applying, all of the music stuff is uh, I think is all up in here. It was all up in here. Now I think about it, they moved it. Moved it because they did a redesign. I I was doing this 15 years ago. Was when I was applying for that. Um, but yet, yeah, like it was legitimately why you couldn't do it. So like when you go, and I'm just gonna let the time tick because we're having a good time talking here. So like when when you go to Minnesota and visit and apply to do schooling, like you go in November December. Because I went for graduate school, and so, like, you want to make sure that you're accepted in a reasonable amount of time. In high school, you go in, like, October and even sometimes September as a musician, so that way you, you get early acceptance and you know where you're going so you can start working with your new professor. And so, like I said, I was applying for graduate school uh, 15 years ago, which is, which is crazy, and you, you walk down, because I remember this, I've walked down this mall, so you walk down the mall... And like there are, uh, if you've ever lived in a snow climate, you know that sometimes in um, they'll mark where the fire hydrants are with like little poles, so that we could find them in the snow. These poles were seven feet tall, and so I was with my tour guide and I said, "That's a joke, right? Like, why do they have to be so tall?" He's like, "No, dude. Sometimes we get like three feet of snow." I was like, "Excuse me." And then that's when he showed me the whole, the network of tunnels. It's called the Gopher Way, by the way, because their mascot are the Golden Gophers. But they call it the Golden, the, the Gopher Way. And you, it literally connects every one of these buildings is connected by an underground tunnel. It's nuts. It's cool. Anyway, give me 5,000 points, would you? Thank you. <laughs> Woo. Sip Simmies, welcome. How are you doing? Bread has played this challenge, which means it's probably a perfect score. So we have a lot to to uh, to to reach for. Frank, seriously, man, what's with the reflective buildings? All right, this one's gonna be a little tougher. Um, the Zolhof Trattoria. It says Gats. Gats, yeah. University of Saskatchewan. Yeah, it probably is fairly common in the north. I wouldn't doubt it. Are these both Gary designs? That one for sure looks like it. This one looks like it could be. How would you like to live and work in those buildings? That's crazy. I can move in this, right? I sure hope this is a two, because I'm about to start moving. Let me know real quick, Simi, if I'm not supposed to be moving. All of them are Gary's. Cool. You can move. All right, good. Do do, boop boop, boo do do do. Zolhof and Kaisstrasse. We're definitely in a Germanic-speaking country. The question in Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf Arkaden. Well, then we're probably in Dusseldorf. I know that city well. Never been, but there was um, 
losing my mind. Why can't it? There it is. Um, we'll, we'll swing to the Modern Art Museum for a second. That's not, I don't think that's right. But in German class in high school, we had to do, like, you had to take a, a common television theme. Look at that. That's cool. That should be on the map somewhere. Uh, you had to take a common television theme song. This was back in the in the mid '90s, and give it a treatment, like translate it into German, and then record it. We were all musicians in the class, so it was fine. We were okay with that. It's just coincidentally, by the way, it's not like set up that way. And so we um we picked Green Acres, and instead of you know New York is where I'd rather stay. Um, I get allergic smelling hay. Blah blah blah. We picked um, Munich, and then later on. Uh, it says take Manhattan and give me the countryside. So Manhattan, Dusseldorf. So the very it's the stress is wrong, but the um, but the syllables were correct. So we just made it work. So then of course we included these places in the map, and our teacher was like, okay, now or in the song, and they said, okay, now put it on a map and tell me what all about it. I'm like, God damn it! How dare you make this a teachable moment? Ryan's room in the Stadt tour. We're on the Zollhof. Well, the Rhine Turm is that way. Maidenhofen, there's the Zolof. Um, there's the Kaistrasse, so we're here. Woke am guys. It's a steakhouse. Nice. Give me some points. 5,000 of them are appreciated. What up? Boop, boop. Noise, noise. Sorry, I don't know what's got in me today. That's the classic Gary I know and love. Oh, wait. <laughs> That's much more like a Lloyd Wright building, the way it looks right now. This is in the United States again. It's on Piedmont Avenue. We're on Eden, actually. The zoo is that way. I like zoos. Ah, hello. It is the Vaughn's Center for Molecular Studies. University of Cincinnati. I know where that place is. It's in Cincinnati. <laughs> Woo. Uh... Eden and what? It would be really helpful if I knew what this cross street was. Oh, there it is. Eden and King. All right. Do, 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 do. I've been to the Cincinnati Zoo, actually. It's really nice. All right. Let's find the zoo because that would make my life a little bit easier. It's not marked. I'm not in zoo far enough. Much time? Two and a half minutes. Plenty of time. Um, I need King Street. King Street's the big street. King runs north-south. I need King Street. Where the hell's the damn zoo? <laughs> damn it. Problem is, I don't remember. The zoo must be farther north than I'm expecting it to be. Well, look, 75 is south of us. We're 75. There's the zoo. Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Gardens, also south of us. Right? Isn't that what it says? Zoo? Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. The zoo is west of us. So, actually, King runs east-west. God, I figured that out. There's a lot of famous famous architects in Cincinnati. Um, Cincinnati is known as the Queen City. At one point, it was the height of trade along the Ohio and um, the Ohio River. Like, if you shipped anything in the Ohio River, um, you uh, you sent it through Cincinnati. Five thousand points. So they basically controlled all trade through the Ohio. And then it went down to Louisville, where the second one, and then finally it makes its way to the Mississippi. 
and then down, right? But sort of Cincinnati was like the gateway to the north on the Ohio River. So there's a lot of cool things in Cincinnati, and it's still like the 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 town. Believe me, having lived in Toledo for 10 years and now Columbus in five years, we get a lot of complexes about Cincinnati. I love that little twist. It's nice. Small plates, but it's not America. Well, it's not the United States of America. Looks like we're driving on the left. Because we are. What the heck? Oh, okay. No, it's just somebody in, in uh, Sorong. Is that the right word? I don't know the religious name for that, and I do apologize profusely. We appear to be in Japan, which is not good for me. This is where bread wins. Never mind, my god, we're in Hong Kong. Thank god I saw that. We appear to be in Hong Kong, which still is not good for me. We appear to be on the north edge of Hong Kong, at least. That's something. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. That's the name of the road, isn't it? It's on Stub it's Stubbs Road. All right, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Probably Stubbs Road doesn't look that big. Oh, I'm so, I'm so boned. Like, are we on the water? Are we on the border with the rest of China? I don't know. Hong Kong's too big. It's the problem. Uh, like, are we on? Are we on Hong Kong Island? Stubbs Road. I mean, we got that. That's something. Stubbs sounds like a cat name, maybe from a book. Yeah, could be. It's also uh, the nickname of, um... oh wait, no, no, that's not right. Yeah, never mind. Forget what I was saying. The International Kindergarten on Hillside is here. Uh, oh, Lord, a minute 45 is fine. Don't panic. Don't panic. There's tons of time. Now we're in giant buildings. Definitely water to our north, so I think we're on the island. Stubb is a Finnish politician, okay? You think the International Kindergarten School would be on the, uh... Wow, look at that, uh, old, um... Oh, crap, I can't think of the name. Um... Oh, God, I gotta get points somehow. So let's just put something down to get some points, but... Uh... None of this looks right. None of it looks right. Oh my god. Where's the international school? I have 27 seconds to find that. It's my only hope. Help me international school. You're my only hope. Damn it. How dare you, Hong Kong? There's a cat mayor of a town in Alaska. That's cool. There's way too much stuff in Hong Kong. Oh, he died last year. That's sad. Damn it. We weren't by the water at all. Stubbs Road. Look in the center. As it is, I was correct, though. The international school was not going to help me out. Bummer. Off by 16 points. Damn it, Fred! <sighs> Let's 
windows are very uniform for a Gary design. I'm sort of surprised. Uh, it looks like we're in the Czech Republic. Or Czechia, as they now prefer. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So, I mean, are we in Prague? History of the Dancing Building. Contemporary Art Gallery Bookshop Design and Fashion History of the Dancing Building. A little ball on top as well. Giant tourist trap? The building itself or the city of Prague? I mean, it looks like Prague, doesn't it? Maybe I'm completely wrong. Let's zoom into it. We've got some time to look. If I recall, Prague has a million different cities. Not cities. I mean, it does, but I meant bridges over the Vlata. Vlatava. Jeez, can't speak today. Um, this is the north south part. Let's, um, should be able to find a street name here somewhere. It's definitely Prague. I just have to figure out which bridge it is, because admittedly I'm, I'm not good at that. Thirteen something. Thirteen Komnat Pruni Republika. Thirteenth anniversary of something. Ninety seconds left. Let's just zoom in here. Which which bank are we on? We're on the East Bank. I mean I know that's not right, but we're just gonna start somewhere. Wait a minute, now let's let's think about this smartly. I know. No, right. I mean, so where are the damn road names? That's all I bloody need. Why are they not in the... There we go. This is Verslova. There's a museum right here. It's 46 seconds. I've got tons of time, alright? Don't rush me. Breslova and Yoroslova. Alright, Breslova, 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 Breslova. There's Kaprova. Now I only have 15 seconds. Now I don't have as much confidence that I'm going to find this place. Should look for this sooner. There, there, there. Found it. Boy, that was close. 5,000 points. So it's good if you don't eat on the main tourist route. The building itself is a tourist route. Recently had the 100th anniversary of Czech independence. If I'm in Prague and GeoGuessr, the street name sign also contains the neighborhood name. Oh, that's good to know. Much like France, or Paris. I didn't pay attention to that. Well, Mr. Bearded Bread is the number one, uh, with the perfect score. What, what, 16 points off, what's that good enough for? Second? It'd be nice if I was second. Are we gonna show me results here? God, it's fourth! You gotta be kidding me. Sheesh. What a disappointment. Thanks, Hong Kong! Uh, well, that's all right. So that's the uh, that's the challenge here. I, I really I'm a, I'm a right hand leader. Look at this. I, I'm just gonna fall right off the screen. Anyway, that's the, <laughs> that's the challenge for today. That was sent to us by way of Simi, the famous architect's number one challenge. Frank and Gary, thank you so much for sending that one in. If you'd like to do it yourself, 
You can find more in indications of how to do that over on the Discord. Description contains the information. If you're watching on Twitch, and you really should be, stick around because there is more GeoGuessr to come. But if you are watching on YouTube, you're going to have to wait for tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel to stay updated to everything as it happens. Until next time, cheers.